Hello, Internet. How's it going, Internet? My name's Kroll from the Devil's Bench, and today we are going to do some backseat gaming. I have the Safety Ninja with me today, and we're going to be playing some prop hunt. Now, the idea behind backseat gaming is to throw somebody into a situation they're unfamiliar with <laughs> while his or her comrades poke some gestures at them. Just totally massage your shoulders and make you feel comfortable. That's right. So, Safety Ninja, hop in the driver's seat here, and you are going to pick props or hunters. Oh. Admittedly, it's been a little bit since I played this game, so I don't actually remember what you're supposed to do. <laughs> That's all right. But we're going to figure it out. This is going to be a really entertaining video for everybody. So, you are currently a spectator. The, uh, the basis of prop hunt is like a... You have to wait until... Oh. Not a prop now. Yeah, you have to wait until the next round. It's kind of like Counter-Strike. Dig it. Uh, Round-based. It's like a big game of hide-and-seek. So, some people are going to spawn as props, and those people get to take over the, the bodies of random props in the game. So, like, if you just start navigating around the map... See that bucket? You could take the place of that bucket, move around as uh, that bucket. That's why that guy's looking all scared by that bucket. Yeah. So it's the hunter's job. Press uh, spacebar, and you should be able to spectate people. Yeah, so this guy is hiding as a little cup. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so it's the hunter's job to go out and find these props. The hunters have to shoot the props to kill them. And once they do that, the props also become hunters. If a hunter shoots a prop that is not an actual person, like those skids that he just went by, those guys, I'm guessing, are not actual player props. If they shoot them, they lose life. So you can actually like kill yourself. Oh, jeez. But if you're you not shoot... screwed right away then, eh? Yeah. Okay. If you shoot too many props that are not props, like, see, these guys are going to start going crazy. Ah, they got them. <laughs> How do you get up there? I don't know. I deem that personally as cheating. I don't know how he got up there, so therefore he's cheating. There is a ladder, but cups don't have legs. <laughs> he's the last one. Buddy. So Prop Hunt got hyper popular um, earlier on in 2013, and probably before that as a mod, but I heard about it in 2013, so that's when it got popular. <laughs> oh, I heard about it about two weeks ago when you and Skexis were talking about it. They should call this game Cup Runner. <laughs> so see, this is usually where if uh, the round's over, so you should be able to play now. All right. I believe you take over props. Ah, uh, you spawned as a hunter, I believe. Hunters will be unblinded and released in 38 seconds. Totally. So you okay. you spawned as a hunter, so now this gives the props the time to go find a hiding spot. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Usually I'll go and take the place of a prop that's like a cup or a can or something, and then just run around the legs of all the hunters, and they get really mad. <laughs> <laughs> so you spawn with, um, remember the Half-Life submachine gun? Yep. You spawn with that with one grenade. So if you see a whole bunch of props running around all at the same time, you can shoot your grenade in there and try and kill them all. But you have to keep in mind that if you shoot your grenade into a room with a lot of props and all of those props get hit, you could kill yourself. I getcha. Got my crowbar here. And obviously no one's going to be right near us. Oh. Somebody killed somebody already. So eventually you'll just see like... And they can't hurt me, can they? No. Only I can hurt myself. So any one of those cabinets could be a prop and they're just fucking sitting there laughing at you right now. If I mouse over them and they're a person, will their name come up? I can't remember. I do know that if you press E, see how you just lost life? Cool. So if you press E and try and move it, or if you try and tip it over and it doesn't tip over, it's definitely a player. Oh, I understand. But I... If, you, if you pick up a cup or something and it doesn't pick up... So that could very well be a person. 
I hit it and didn't get hurt. I don't think it's a prop. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a dick move to be a prop that big. Ah. Uh. See, so everybody's going around just trying to figure out who's a prop. I can see how this game could get really goddamn frustrating. <laughs> who's a filing cabinet? You gotta, you gotta duck. I tried to. <laughs> I just saw those files move. Your keyboard's gonna know that you're cheating on it with another man's keyboard. How do you feel about that? Uh, he's gonna smell my fingers when I get home and ask me where I've been. <laughs> oh, that would have been where I would hit if I was a dustbin. On the nacho cheese stained uh, see, keys no. of Bill's keyboard. God damn it. You are killing yourself. See, See I would... if you were a chair, you'd totally be right there. I blew that up. Was that a person? I don't know. What was it? A phone? It was a phone. <laughs> I don't know. This is also Gary's mod, so a fucking anything could happen. Maybe it was an explosive phone. I really can't tell. Oh, like the one in Law Abiding Citizen? Have yeah. you seen that movie? No, I haven't seen oh. it. <laughs> Get on YouTube right now. One of YouTube. those failed jokes. Oh, yeah, you... totally like the one in Law Abiding Citizen. YouTube... Law abiding citizen exploding phone. You don't need to watch the rest of the movie. You just need to see that scene. Alright. Oh, see? Now that one didn't explode. That wasn't a person. I hit that because someone was a cup last time. I walked into it and it didn't move. <laughs> I didn't get hurt. Yeah, maybe you can't be cans. Oh. Well, then why am I playing this game? True, I didn't tell you that beforehand, that you can't be a can. Oh, that moves, so I can't be a person, right? Imagine the person perfectly timing his movements. It just fits me off. It could be. What's that? That's broken. Why am I jumping so high? I don't know. Could be a low gravity server, could be just Gary's mod. Sons of bitches. So, when you're the prop... There's a lot of props. Yeah. Yeah, there's still 11 left. Jesus. Would it be appropriate for me to ask you math-based riddles? Yeah, if you want to. Oh, that tire totally just moved <laughs> in my brain and not in real life because I hit it and I got hurt. See, this is where I think some people cheat. They'll go behind those dumpsters and just like sit there and wait until the end of the round. How are you supposed to get them? If you don't shoot a grenade in there, but you don't know until... Yeah, I'm testing the waters a lot, but I'm down 40% health here. What are you? Hat. Hat bones. Not a player. Snowman. This gravity stuff is really freaking me out here. I'm going to be useless in like, well, more useless in like four more minutes because I'm not going to have enough health to guess. Well, you've got 35 seconds left. Oh, okay. So now I can start swinging. Yeah. Oh, Jose can take all the rest of this math. <laughs> With any luck, you can be a prop next time. Sweet. I think to take the place of another prop, you press E or it could be right click or it could be neither of those. I sent that cardboard box one. Oh, we're running out of time, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, five seconds left. It looks like you guys have probably lost. Oh. And by probably, I mean you definitely lost. Yeah, unless everybody kills six people in the next few seconds. Sudden death. I've never played in sudden death rules. Surviving I props have become <laughs> killer props. And want revenge. Why did she each? Oh, you're in a death match now. Oh, so now the props can attack us. I don't know what they would attack you with. Maybe they have guns. Oh, they're like some weird Stephen King, like, yogurt containers. <laughs> How do I... Where's my other gun? Oh, there it is. Shotgun. They're probably just gonna lay low. Nope. Hunters win. There you go. I'm gonna start my own series of Let's Play videos called The Safety Ninja Sucks At. And... Oh, Here. I'm a mannequin? Yeah, you gotta go find a prop. You have like 30 seconds to do so. Turn around, turn around, turn around. 
Oh. Go into one of the offices. I was going to say, if I spawn as a mannequin, I would have hit that thing just out of principle. The smaller the prop that you are, I believe it's E, could be right click. Yeah. The smaller the prop you are, the less health you have, and the faster you move. If you're a big prop, you have more health, but you move slower. You see, everybody's like fucking scrambling to try and find a hiding spot. How do I know when it's game on? Oh, 13 seconds? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that's not obvious. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get on the same shelf. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding <laughs> in behind that box. No. Also, seriously, I just have to sit here? Well, you don't have to. You can run, but now it's like time to make your butt pucker because you'll see them, <laughs> you'll see them come into the room. So you have to decide whether or not you want to split. But you're... You're a relatively larger prop, right? So you're not going to be able to get away as quick. But here they come. <laughs> no. Well, gotcha. Ah, oh, what? Some guys have these maps like just memorized, like they can just. Well, now I'm a hunter, right? Oh, now I'm just spectating. I I could have been wrong about that too. What a shit game this is. <laughs> There's 15 seconds before the map starts where you don't do anything, then you die, and then you wait for four minutes. Yeah, pretty much. I, I could see how all of us playing this would get, we'd start calling each other names immediately. Yeah, that, that'd, that'd about sum it up, yep. We'd all end up hating Jeff again. Yeah, yep. Sorry, Jeff. So, this is a fun Let's Play. Yeah, did we, is there like a... Is there a paint drying mod for, for this? Can I be a splotch of paint on the wall? There's no... Oh, what a dick hiding spot. See what is. I'm saying? If only he could move just a little bit to his right, and then he'd be like the biggest dick on this server. Like oh, that. there it is. Like that. <laughs> he just tripled his dick size. At least he's moving. But totally, no. totally inconspicuous, too. A roll of toilet paper. I think that's your phone that's buddy. That's the phone buddy of mine. With like the... Friggin' like FBI going through his house right now. The crowbar. That's kind of ominous. What you got on me, bitch. You don't even know. Yeah, and he's Mr. Double Dildo, so. You don't even know. See? What a hiding spot. Everybody's just running by because they're like, just a piece of toilet paper. Yeah. Whatever. See, I, I tried to be a piece of toilet paper, but I ended up as a box instead. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Even mean. You can read into that what you want. <laughs> oh, you see, you got to take that back. That's Jesus that you were making fun of. Ah, the one and only. He's got a much better hiding spot though than the real Jesus. They found him. Do you remember that like server side sound back in like early Counter Strike days where they'd be like, "You are the one and only." When you're the yeah. last guy, and you're like, "Fuck yeah!" Oh yeah, come and get it. Pull the knife out, man. Yeah. I remember actually being decent at that game. <laughs> Headshot. And then there's a whole bunch of others. Like when some servers would have more sounds than others. Headshot, and then killing streak. See, I never went in those servers because I wasn't patient enough to download all of those files. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, I no. hated that. It's like, all right, we got like 45 minutes to kill some stuff. Downloading this sound, that sound wave, this sound wave. And you get like three minutes into it and you're like, okay, this will be the last one. And then you're already like so invested. You've downloaded half their sound bank already. Yeah. yeah. And then you finally get in and then the sounds are annoying as shit. Yeah. I'm glad that part of the internet doesn't exist anymore. Well, it probably does. I mean, that was back in the day too where like you'd, You'd have like your favorite server, or you'd have two or three servers that you played on. Yeah. And like people knew you in that server. Yeah. You'd have stats that you could actually track inside of that server. And I it like mattered. That. And it then mattered. there was those Warcraft mods too, where you oh got like XP God. and stuff. That was the best. I love those. Are those are the only ones I ever played on. That was the best. I Whatever the hell that suicide bomber one was, where like when you die, you blow up and get free kills. Why am I dating this kid? I don't know. That's, yeah, we're just... That's why you don't read the text boxes in Counter-Strike maps, kids. Yeah, I, I, I don't even. <laughs> Somebody needs to straighten this Jesus jerk out, though. Yeah, that's really not fun. Yeah, you tell him. 
Oh, get on there. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. Ah! You see, I called him Piss Bottle because he's a bottle, and I insinuated that he is filled with piss, which in some countries is a derogatory statement. Take that, Jesus. Mm. Piss Bottle. <laughs> If that, even though it's a joke, that that will that pretty much guarantees our entrance into hell. Well, at least we know. No, it we'll... guarantees you. I didn't type it. Just for the record. See, now he gets out and he's like, "Ooh, come and get me." It's the worst. Is, is that him with the crab on his head? I think that's what the props turn into. Yeah, totally. That's Jesus. Oh man. Now head crab, man. I remember when I had Half Life was like one of the first like real computer games that I had. Yeah, totally. And it was like amazing. It was, I think, one of the first, if not the first game that I built a computer for. Like I actually bought parts for that game. And I think the fact that Counter-Strike, like I, I watched you do Counter-Strike Source and it was just like, that is the game I used to play. Oh, what a throwback, eh? 12 years ago, but the graphics are better. That's what, yeah, you know, yeah. like, th that's all they did. I know you have CSGO, which is the textures are different, and it's the same maps, but they're, it looks different. Counter-Strike Source is just Counter-Strike like it was back in early 2000 with prettier, like, today's technology. Yeah. And I love it. I think I kind of like being the hunter better. What? Yeah. Because I actually get to do shit. Okay, question. Left for Dead or Left for Dead 2? You like being the zombies better or the players? We pay, played Left 4 Dead 2 for like five minutes and I was pretty confused the whole time. Okay, because I was going to say, you're going down the path right now of about to tell me that you like playing the players better and we're just not going to be able to play oh, video games anymore. No, when we did play, it was, it was definitely the zombies were more fun. Okay, thank you. Redemption, you have redeemed yourself. Well, because you get to fuck people's day up. Yeah, true. <laughs> See, here I get to fuck people's day up too. Someone's that box. Because it's not there anymore. Oh, some asshole will be... <laughs> oh, there he is. Yes! I shot a cup and he exploded. I think that means you got somebody. It says I got zero zero kill death, though. <laughs> so maybe you just shot another exploding cup. Yeah, fuck that one up. See what happens. Look, it has a name. Come along Maisie forgot how to breathe. So they died, but I didn't get a kill for it. Yeah, because her name showed up. What the fuck with this guy? <laughs> if you had a flashbang right now, you'd totally flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can, because I knew that my team was hiding behind something. Maybe it's the time of night that we're playing this game, but I remember this game being a lot more fun than this. I think also it's one of those games that you have to play with other people. Yeah, because then you can trash talk each other. Yeah, we're just playing with a bunch of randoms right now. Yeah, and they're not nearly as witty and funny as we are. That's right. Yeah, there's a big blood splatter over there, so I definitely did get somebody. Or I shot a cup full of blood. <laughs> An exploding cup. cup full of blood, that'd be a wicked gamer tag. That'd be an awesome metal band name. I remember there was a period of my gaming career when everybody had to have, like, basically their gamer tag had to be a metal name. Yeah. It'd be yeah. like, there'd be all, like, painful consequences or undead tax accountant or, like, all these stupid names. So I went as brutal circumcision for, like, two or three years <laughs> just because I won. <laughs> I wanted the most disgusting, most like over the top name ever, and people loved it. Not right, man. Well, that guy's got a crab head. Oh, he's on my. That's Jesus, though. <laughs> now he's on my team. Again, it's Gary's mod. He probably has some way that he's allowed to put a crab on his head. That bottle. Actually, that was Jesus' bottle. Who hid there? Now he's on my team. So a couple rounds in, what do you think of Prop One? I can't wait until the Devil's Bench gets together and plays this game so we can all shit talk each other and be little drunken cups that run around everywhere. <laughs> it's the absolute best when 
you're a prop that people keep running past. <laughs> like if you're a like a piece of wood and you could I yourself, be one of these boxes? I don't believe those boxes. Dude. No, it's office probably isn't the best map to play. I've I've usually played on assault, and there's just some more variety. It's not just all like boxes and cups and shit. Oh, that's totally something right there. Nope. It's just a mess of shit, but it's not anyone in particular. I do like that the name comes up though, so in that way at least there's a little bit of confirmation. <laughs> You're not just shooting exploding cups of blood? Yeah, and then dying because I've shot too many things. <laughs> there's 60, let's see how many seconds are left. You got a minute and five seconds. Oh, there we go. Fancy mic was in my way. Also, as an introduction to Let's Plays, what do you think? I definitely am going to look forward to uh, to doing these. Although, it's a funny stage in my life that this is what I'm doing for fun now. <laughs> when I first, when I was a kid and I first got into games, it was like sports and games like that. So, we'd walk, and it sounds like an old grandpa on the walk in a school story, but... I remember walking to the other end of town 45 minutes with my goalie pads to go play uh, goalie in a little pickup hockey game that we used to always play. Yeah. And then uh, well, Sega Genesis was out, but it, Super Nintendo. Sega came before Super Nintendo or vice versa? Anyway, one of the guy that we always that always hosted these hockey games because he lived on a little side street got a Super Nintendo, and with that came NHL 95. So then we'd still walk over to his house to play hockey, same distance, but we'd all play Super Nintendo. <laughs> and Talking I, and playing games, it happens the best of us. Now I know exactly what was happening <laughs> yeah, to you in right. your other videos. You can't do it, man. <laughs> God. Well, at least everyone would be really entertained by me just blindly running and staring at the center of the screen. Yeah, great story, jackass. Let's play the game. No, but we'd walk to his house to go play Super Nintendo. We were still playing hockey, we were playing Super Nintendo, and then the internet came out. Yeah. And then I'd play games with my buddies on Counter-Strike. That made you sound like the internet came out. Yeah, exactly. Then well, the, the internet, internet came, out. came out. Well, it was out, but... It changed everything. Yeah. But it, it, was in our, it was in our homes, right? Yeah. So when my parents finally let me play games on my computer, oh yeah, let's, let's be something awesome. There's nothing here to be. That radio? No. Pause. Uncle Safety Ninja's story time for the be time being. <laughs> How much time do I have left? Oh, oh yeah. I wanted to be the red cup. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so I'm not actually in it. I was gonna say, that's cheating. All right, kids, you're going to stare at a trash can while I tell boring stories. Yeah, and then we started playing Counter-Strike, and then I became like a console guy. I got a PlayStation, and yeah, that's all I played. I played, I think I played XCOM UFO Defense for about 12 years, and that was the only game I played. <laughs> and then I got a computer to play with you guys, so now every Friday, my friends and I get together in our respective living rooms and play video games. And then now, but we're, there's nothing wrong with that. There is not though. And now we're gonna film Both ourselves doing corner. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you we'll, know what? No, stop talking about this. It, <laughs> it makes it sound really, really cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> if my like eight year old self knew that this is what like games are gonna be, it would blow my mind. You'd high five the shit out of yourself. Oh, I know actually. Yeah. I was just trying to sound like I was civilized, but I totally dig the shit out of this. You'd high five the shit out of yourself. Look at that one health. Ah, oh, gotcha. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I think that's a good spot to wrap it up. I think so. And hopefully I'll be more entertaining next time because now I'll know what I'm doing. Probably not, though, because, again, we're just like almost 30-year-old, 8-year-olds recording ourselves playing video games. That is true. How's that for Let's Play Marketing? If only I could do this and get paid to do it, said everyone ever. Dominating!